Well, hey there all. It's Cash Magnet Guru with another exciting video. I had made a video last week before I went out of town about setting up this new Aristo 2. Well, because of my horrible skill at making videos, I threw it away. <laughs> so it was, it was terrible. So I'll basically go over some of the things here that was in that other video, even though it's already done. I just went through my phones not that long ago on one of my two times a day to see what's going on with them. And one of the things I always look for is if they are running out of memory. Yep. And he is. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to close everything. Oops. I don't know why I'm closing one at a time. Okay, one of the first things I do with a new phone is I come in and I uh, and I turn off the when the screen goes blank. The problem is if you leave it like that and your phone is kind of bogged down, it, it will stop and pull up the 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 previous you know the the lock screen on it. So, oh, geez, sorry. I think that was all blurry there. Probably still is. So, uh, another thing that I do is I'll bring down the brightness. I'm going to keep it up right now so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing here. So, of course, you know, whoops. Of course, we need to turn on the develop developer options. And I'm sure everybody who, you know, Anybody who's used Cash Magnet has done this. You just click on the build number seven times, and that unlocks the and that unlocks the developer options. Developer options. There's even though I'm not to level seven on my phones, I you know when you first set up a phone, you're not going straight to level seven. But I always click on the debugging. Now, the other huge thing, and I can't stress this enough, is stop that automatic system update. Especially with me, I, I run higher phones with the Marshmallow and Nougat. Um, I, I primarily, I mean, this phone is a Nougat. I do not want it to go to Oreo, and I do not want it to go to Pi. When you buy a phone, an Android phone, I believe you get two free upgrades that are supported on the phone so i think this could be I, I might be wrong but i know it'll at least go to oreo uh when i bought my my big batch of 26 aristo 2s i didn't do that and i don't know if cash magnet has really fixed the oreo bugs yet where it doesn't earn that well but i don't let my phones go to oreo so it's it's a pretty big process. It's easy once you understand it on rolling back a phone to its factory operating system. Resetting your phone does not roll the operating system back. I actually, since this is an LG, I actually had to get a program called LG Up. And it will that will allow you to put a custom ROM basically the operating system onto uh, an Android phone. So what I had to do was find the, the Nougat ROM and have this program do it. And it was really easy once I learned everything that I was doing wrong. So sorry for that, the tangent there, but those, are, that's the two big things. Um, that I, you know, that's just some of the things I do there. Uh, another thing I do, uh, and I, I never can find it, is I do shut off the lock screen on new phones for the same reason of, uh, you know, I, I, if the phone is bogging down, I don't want it to stop. I want it to try to continue through 
the bog down process. So what I'm going to show you here is everything I have disabled on for the updates. Now what this is going to try to do, this is going to try to update or maybe it did. So lo and behold, it has updated junk that I don't want it updating. And this is frustrating. So I'll go through some of this stuff and and basically uninstall it. I don't know I don't know how to stop this. It'd be great if somebody did and uh, and posted about it. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to trying to grab some of the things that I know are not needed. I don't do it through the apps section of the phone because I always end up clicking on some of the system apps stuff that can't be updated. Oh, I don't know what I just did. So this is just, there's probably a way to stop it from, uh, from updating these. I just, I have not spent the time to look it up yet. Oops, oops, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want it to update. Because I'm a big dunderhead at times. Okay, so that's basically the gist. Uh, really, you want to free up as much space as you possibly can. Uh, I, I, do, I do actually keep the... What is it? The... Oh, it's not on here. Um, it would be the, the Google Play games. I, I do load that on my phones. I'm not sure why it's not in here. That's kind of strange. So that's that's basically, you know, I just go through all that crap and dump it off. And I, I just really need to go through it and do that again. I, I just don't want to waste everybody's time. And, and, you know, having you guys yawn and listen to me prattle on. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, when I did, when I did first get this phone, it had it had uh, seven seven gigs free. Uh, let's see where we're at here. You know, because we all know that cash magnet is a is a big hog when it comes to stuff. And see, look at that over over fifteen. So this is not grabbing any apps. So we're going to dump that cash out of there. Sorry, I don't know what's going on why my why my phone is is so bad about uh Oh, boy, that's just sorry. I I don't know why my why it's just not picking up uh Why it's so bad there. Um, okay, so the other thing that I'm going to do while I'm in here is I am going to dump cash magnets cash as well. Generally when I go in and, and if I have the if I have where it drops back down to level two and I'm re and I'm dumping the data and resetting the USB debugging, uh, I I dump the I dump the cash at the same time as well. I mean while I'm in there. So that's going to free up some, you know, like I said, I am going to have to go back in and dump a bunch of the, 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 the apps that have updated, which is just super annoying why it does that. So that gives me, that's given me plenty. It's given me two and a half gigs to work with. And that's, that's usually 
I mean, that's that's a solid amount. And I'll probably end up with closer to three gigs once I go back in and dump all that stuff. So, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, one thing is, yeah, I mentioned this in a, my previous video. They did come out with a beta update. And for, for you that don't know how to get to the beta update... Or, or be in the beta program. Just come into the Google Play Store. I'm going to go My Apps. Uh, let's see if it... Let me make sure this is not updating anything. All right. So right now I am a beta tester. And it tells you beta right there. I, I did get a little snippy with cache magnet because they did not well it it fixed bugs well what bugs <laughs> you know and and it turned out it was kind of on the back end it was on their back end stuff that had to be done so you can if you scroll down the page on your phone and you only have to do this on one if you know one per per account so you can either leave you know I could leave it or I could join it now when I do leave a beta I do not uninstall I generally have not had any issues I've had issues in the past where I have an uninstalled cache magnet and it took me to level one and then that's how all my devices on the website get all out of order. And I don't know. So I, I've kind of given up trying to figure out which devices are which on the website. It's just, it's just too much. But for you guys with only, you know, four phones or eight phones or even 12 phones, yeah, it's still fairly easy to do. So do I recommend being a beta tester? Well, some of the betas are really good. Like, like this beta right now, I'm not getting that zero bug, you know, where, where it's showing zero earnings, you know, or it's giving you no time or you can't see your games. I'm not getting that at all. Now, I am getting where it rolls back to level two. And then I have to go in and, and dump the data and reset the USB debugging. It's, it's a pretty good, I mean, compared to what I was dealing with before, it's a lot easier to deal with it. So I, I do like the beta. I don't know if they really fixed anything or maybe they changed something on their end. Um, I, I know a big part of it was was they had to change something to get a little compliant with one of their major advertisers. So And none of us want them to lose an advertiser right now. I don't know about the rest of you. I, I, I'm sure most of you got paid earlier this month or in April. I just, they just paid me out for January. So, which January was the month that I was really starting to work out the kinks with, with some routers that I, that I was using before. And, or I should say access points <clears throat> and trying to get my farm up and going. So I, I did, they did pay me 150. So that was awesome. So in my next video, what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, probably show like uh, my March earnings and then I'll show you the crap that I bought with my Amazon pay, uh, Amazon gift cards, which I mean, which was awesome. When are they going to come out with February payments? Your guess is going to be as good as mine. I would expect the same schedule where, you know, middle to late um, May. Um, so supposedly they're going to get payments straight in June. You know, I'm not going to hold my breath. I, I've been, they've told me that and I've got my hopes up and I got my, my, my wish list filled on Amazon and, you know, spending my PayPal money that I'll get the month after that. You know, I, I got a, I got a whole list of crap that I want to buy, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. I know they're going to pay. They always pay. So I'm, I'm not worried. 
when when the money comes it comes and my february was horrible so i really didn't didn't make too much so when march and april when i get those payments then i'll be very very happy so hopefully this video helps you all out a little bit on you know kind of getting your phone started a little bit some of the little tweaks that i do uh, i did not show you know shutting down the lock screen but I do advise doing that. So, well, until the next video, y'all have a great day.